David Caponio, Senior Vice President for Product and Business Development with Vast. Correct. Uh, thank you very much for joining us on Australia in Space TV here in Singapore at the GSTC. Thanks for having me, Chris. Great. Um, now, we interviewed Max uh, Halt, mm -hmm. uh, the CEO in Milan, which was a, a real pleasure, and mm -hmm. you had a nice, vast uh, stand there as well at IAC. Award-winning, by the way. Well, yes. oh, really? I'm yes. not. Well, Most engaging of the whole show. <laughs> let's start straight away. Are we going to see Vast down at IAC in Sydney? I uh, wouldn't miss it for the world. Beautiful. Okay, yeah. well, that's the main. Let's, let's out that out of the way. <laughs> Um, now, there was an update yesterday. We interviewed at Value Tech uh, this morning here mm -hmm. in Singapore uh, and also got the opportunity to see your manufacturing video mm -hmm. as well. So you're in testing of the, and it was an article. What was the term you used for the article? Oh, uh, uh, the qualification article. Qualification yes. article. Mm -hmm. Very interesting language. Why, why is that chosen, the qualification article? Yeah, where's that from? Is that just an engineering term? Oh, or? yeah, certainly it's an engineering term. Yeah, right. uh, okay. Most. Uh, large spacecraft, especially ones of complex nature, we're applying crew here. Yes. Um, you build a art article before you build the real article that's going to space. Got it. Okay. Uh, so you can kind of test it a little bit harder. Uh, qualification programs are a little bit more stressful yes. um, than just building one unit that has to go to space. So you have to test it just only a little bit. Got it. Right. Uh, just remind me, where was that being tested again? Uh, we have a test site in Mojave, California. It's yeah, about right. two hours north by drive by car uh, from our Long Beach location. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So maybe we'd not update because you're March 2026. Uh, uh, so with that flight Haven article, one. yeah. So with that flight article uh, update we put out in social media about a few weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, we also announced a bit of a delay to the um, launch of Haven One. Yes. So it'll be May 2026. May. Okay. Yeah. Got it. And everything else is. It, what, where's the delay from? Is that just giving us an extra couple of sort of months in, in a uh, sort of back, or yeah, where's where's that scheduling come from? Uh, mostly from higher fidelity of the scheduling program itself. Yes, um, we get into through many milestones of development and kind of seeing more fidelity on what it's going to take, yep. testing program, um, some of the requirement sets, some of the uh, manufacturing, uh, but all seems kind of well and good and within family of most aerospace nice. projects. Yeah. And Haven 2, the design was launched in, in Milan. Correct. So yeah, it's a very interesting sort of schedule of works that's going on here. Maybe just an update as to us and where, where you're currently at mm -hmm. and potentially being here at GSTC. You were here last year as we were, well. We yes. But yeah, just some of your regional partners uh, here in, in the uh, Indo-Pacific. Um, we'll start with Haven 2. So yeah, Haven okay. 2 was uh, announced, our architecture at least, um, at IAC in Milan. Yep. Um, basically, uh, the main goal there is to win the commercial LEO destination program with NASA. Yeah. Um, so mostly that is kind of uh, an architecture that meets the best uh, the best needs of NASA, as well as other international agency, and uh, the commercial marketplace itself. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to make sure it's a modular architecture, one that could be configurable to some of the changing needs that are in the marketplace yeah. with international agencies and commercial alike. And we feel Haven 2, the architecture that we've released, is the best suited to kind of configure and customize to the realities of the market. But that's yeah. coming up quite soon. What's the timeline for yeah. that uh, announcement? The timeline is coming up quite soon. So. Uh, NASA has kind of uh, released a schedule of when they're going to um, release the request for proposal, so yeah. when we're allowed to kind of put in our proposal for commercial LEO destination program. Um, that's opening uh, about the end of this year, um, and then they uh, are scheduling selection in mid-26. So right. by, you know, a few, just a little over a year's time, we will know who the selectee, maybe single or plural, yeah. um, will be for that program. And well, I mentioned uh, at Value Tech here that mm -hmm. your, your RF uh, communications and the like. How many partners are involved uh, in, in all of this in terms of even just Haven One? Mm -hmm. uh, we talk about just down to sort of the, the RF sort of antennas and the like. Yeah. Must be quite a few partners involved? A, a little bit. We, we take a healthy mix of what we do in house and what we partner with yep. um, and procure through other sources. Um, we've announced some notable ones, uh, most notably uh, DHV solar cells in Spain. Um, our propulsion system is from a company in the US called Impulse Space, uh, started by Tom Mueller. Former SpaceX. Yeah, right. um, so those are kind of the the biggest ones, and then add value, kind of most significant uh, in terms of its radio capability or RF capability uh, yeah. for for Haven One. Um, so it's one thing that you know it was unique and was kind of uh, coincidental that this show was happening uh, in Singapore as well. So we kind of uh, announced our partnership uh, for that particular element with them. And again, the roadmap: any new partners, or it's all embedded now in terms of what you're doing, particularly Mo when by the time you're making these submissions. Right. You can't have anything sort of outstanding at that stage, Most right? of Haven 1, more or less, is locked down. There's yeah. not too many trades. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're in kind of 
the build phase, more or less. Yeah. Um, but Haven 2 uh, does have some architecture that does have some open trades uh, that could be allow us to, to partner with other companies. Um, that said, the whole purpose of Haven 2 is to derive the heritage from Haven 1. So we're yeah. going to be operating on orbit, we're going to be flying four crew members in four different missions, um, and really taking that high technology readiness level and, and low risk uh, by retiring a lot of that in space. and. Uh, importing that into the Haven 2 architecture, nice. into our bid for CLD. The other one, just with Haven 1 and 2, just focused on human habitation, right? There's no uh, sort of other sort of modules and science modules being built, uh, or, yeah, where's that, where's, what's the status there? It's very much similar to the ISS, where, yes. you know, every single module of the ISS does house and support life for crew. Yeah. Um, that said, in parallel, it does have laboratory capability just like ISS has yes. uh, as well. So there's a certain amount of requirements that NASA has, that ESA has, that JAXA has, other space agencies and the commercial market have yep. that we're incorporating to that architecture as well. Uh, but the whole point, like I mentioned before, Haven 2 is configurable and expandable yeah. to the changing market set. Beautiful. Yeah. Look, David Capiano, uh, <laughs> you're the Senior Vice President for Product and Business Development. you got the best job in the world at this <laughs> stage, I think, uh, and it's great to see you again here in Singapore at GSTC. Yeah. But thank you very much for joining us on Australian Space TV and we'll see you in Sydney at IAC. Thanks Chris for having me and can't wait to go to Sydney in October this year.